This video is on the EdTPA Elementary Handbook, Task 4, the Mathematics Reengagement Lesson. Okay, so based on the answers to the commentary question number two, you're going to choose one mathematical conceptual understanding learning target. If you remember, you analyzed your three focus students and you figured out one conceptual understanding that they were struggling with a little bit. You're going to create a new learning target for that conceptual understanding. Again, create a three-part objective, the target behavior, the conditions under which the behavior occurs, and the criteria for success. These two things you're then going to put in commentary question three. So that those are the two uh, responses for commentary question three. Go ahead and do that now. Next, you're going to actually conduct the re-engagement lesson. You're going to work with your three focus students and it can be one on one. It can be in a small group or with the whole class and you're going to reteach the original lesson. Of course, make sure you're teaching it in a different way since they didn't fully get it the first time. If your students don't have to have a written product, then you could video record this and use video samples um, for the work samples. But otherwise, you're going to have written work samples. So you're going to collect a work sample from each of the three focus students. Again, you could do a video instead. You just have to plan ahead. And then you're going to analyze how effective your strategies were. Did their mathematical understanding improve? If so, cite evidence from the work samples. If it did not, that's OK. But again, you're going to cite evidence from the work samples and discuss maybe why uh, your strategies were not effective. And that's the end of the commentary. The commentary is only those four questions. Next, we're going to talk about how to get your files ready.